episode we are going to make some uh, Spanish and Mexican of food with an Italian accent of course. This is beef fajitas, 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 beef fajitas, used to get them in, um, what's that nice place, Chiquitos, they were really really good with a cold beer and a couple of tequilos, they were fantastic. So this is the way I make them, it's very very simple, you have all the gubbins which we'll do later but first of all we've got to marinate the meat. So with nice clean hands, here's a piece of sirloin. You can use flank or chuck or chuck out or buy in or rump, you know, council house steak. So what you need to do, cut all the fat off. We'll just get this done quick, then I'll show you how to make it all. So we'll throw that over there. Nice, beautiful piece of fillet steak. So we'll move this one just there for a second. Paste a bit of clean film over this one, and then from the bedroom, you borrow this. Uh, I don't know what it is, but this will probably. You don't want it thin. We're not going to make a, a steak Diane. What we're going to do is. Ugh. Right, there you go. So we're going to get our knife and we're going to cut strips. How that long? Nice long strips. Okay? I like them nice long strips. You can have little ones. Bung them in here. There you go. Nice chunky one of them. A little bit thinner. It's all about preference. Don't forget, you're going to put these in a, one of them funny things like a scoffer's wallet with all manner of stuff. Okay, let's do this one. A little bit of cling film. I hope you're doing these recipes at home. Do you remember Fanny and Johnny Craddock? Oh, look, for you people who don't watch it, they were the sort of cooks at that time. He was a, they were quite posh. They lived around Black Eve, actually, where I used to hang around as a kid. If you want to laugh, go on YouTube and look up Benny Hill and Bob Todd as Fanny Craig. You've seen Bob on some of the other stuff on this TV site. But, uh, old, old Bob played Johnny, always picking up the sherry and swinging it and getting pissed. And that was it. She made donuts one week, did Fanny Craddock, and I think Bob Todd, when he was playing the part for Benny Hill, said, I hope all your... All your donuts turn out like fannies. <laughs> I bought hundreds of them, none of them ever did. All right, so let's quickly slice this down here. Nice and thin, long strips. Okay. Now, you can add cumin to these or any Mexican stuff. Certainly a little bit of salt, which I'll do now. Uh, there you go. But if you want to be really cheeky, add this. A teaspoon of good old-fashioned Chinese chili oil made from bats and foxes tails and cats. I don't know how much you want to put in. I'm going to put quite a bit. There you are, a little bit of oil as well as that crunchy bit. And then we are going to grate in, because it's great in it, a lime. Okay? God knows why. I've never tasted lime in the ones in Chiquitos, but there, a bit of a lime. Great. Get that in there. So I'm going to be cooking this tonight. And the missus, she don't like anything um, meaty. <laughs> so she's going to have turkey strips, what she's got out of the freezer. Fucking no taste of a fucking thing. This will be good. So we'll let these marinate for, I don't know, a couple of hours in the fridge. While we set the rest of This is worse than my mum's face. This, this is my mum's face again. Whiskey. I don't suppose you want to make it any bigger than that, do you? I guess not. That'll do. I sort of make these things up as I go along, but when it tastes like shit, um, you go back and say, oh, I think I might do it a bit different. Well, there's not much juice in these limes, are there? It's a bit none on honeymoon night. Right? There you go, one. Shit. Yeah, bits of lime. Give them a good old stir up. Make sure that chili oil goes over 
all the bits, otherwise all, some bits will be bland and other bits will blow your balls off. Maybe I'm going to put a bit more in there. Why? I'm not sure. Give it a good stir. Get all the stuff. We'll cover that with cling film. Pop that in the fridge for a couple of hours. Do you have the cling film, film that you have in the box and you've got to use the teeth thing to do all that? I don't bother with it. Right, okay. See you for the tricky bits. Two moments. So we have some salsa and uh, that's a dance in it, but you know what I mean. That's out of a bowl and we've got this guacamole, which is, if you can't get this, just get a Kermit doll and put him in a blender. Then we've got some uh, halitosis uh, chilies, and then we've got some of um, mouse trap in here. Some uh, chilies, well, they're bell peppers, aren't they? Green and yellow, and some sliced onion. Right, so we're going to get these all hot. Bit of that one there. So we can get the onions and the uh, peppers, whatever they're called. What are they called in America? Michelle, caspiums, aren't they? What? Caspiums. <laughs> they, they, they live in the sea. Oh, you You've got to have this with fajitas as well. This is uh, Spanish wine. Yeah, it's the rules. Mm. Right, the trick is, is to not cook these too much in it. So, let's have a little look. Bit of oil in that. This is nearly a griddle pan. Thank God this Elliot Brown watch is heat proof. Let's get that in there. Get that in there. Let's get some onions in, see how we're getting on. There. There, are they fizzing up nicely? Don't want to do them too much, you see. Let's turn them down a bit. I don't want any of that business going on. And then, two of them. Get this. A few of these. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Quick stir up. I'm glad you're liking these. I'm getting lots of letters in. But despite that, I'm carrying on. <laughs> See, all fucked off. <laughs> Right, okay. Let's get Michelle's in first. Well, I thought you were going to put the beef in first. We'll put the beef in first. Here we go. That's sizzling up. A lot of it. Dog has just totally shit himself now. All we want to do with these is just brown them up. Might be better with a funny tongue. You don't want to overcook them. This is sirloin. You can use fillet if you're a millionaire. Or if you're Richard Branson and ask the government to pay for it. Just want to coat them up. Okay, right, get them on here to cook, keep cooking. So all they're going to take is good meat. Get that on there. And Michelle, do you want this juice or want me to wipe that out? A little bit more of olive oil. A bit of that. Nice, eh? And here's the turkey. These have got to be cooked through a little bit more because it's poultry, isn't it?
So that's the turkey. A couple more seconds for that. I always get one, chop it up. I always have a little chop up to see what it's like. If there's any bit of blood in it whatsoever, I'm going to gel the meltdown. That's all right. Okay, so, let's go in there as well. Going over there. That's going on. These two are going up. And here we have it's only professional beef vegetas. That's all. There you go. Have a look at that. Mix that with some gubbins. You'll love it. Let's get Michelle's taste of shit. Here we go. Beef vegetas and Tasteless shit for Jesus, everybody. There you go, we're ready to now wrap them up in these funny pancakes. Just one. Show yeah. us some pancake. What are you doing this for? Well, stop fucking arguing and then trust this. Piping hot, of course. Beef for Jesus. It's easy, isn't it? You can stick what you want in them. A bit of sour cream sometimes goes okay. And these are gluten-free things, aren't they, Michelle? Because I, I don't have gluten. Be for Jesus. Squirrel. <laughs> you are? And who was the bloke that used to stick his hand up that young bird with the nappy on? Ralph Harris. An Englishman, a Scotchman, an Irishman, a Welshman, a Gurkha, a Latvian, a Turk, an Aussie, a German, a Yank, an Egyptian, a Jap, a Mexican, a Spaniard, a Russian, a Pole, a Lithuanian, a Jordanian, a Kiwi, a Swiss, a Finn, a Canadian, a Romanian, a Bulgarian, a Jew, a Muslim, a Buddha, and a Hindu, all went into a nightclub. That's right, welcome back to Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Score you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite. Don't no. try again. I uh, can't do couples. Uh, we're going to have to, uh, I'm sorry to say, we're going to have to ban sex. So it will have to be done. I'm afraid. Anyway, it comes to 12 o'clock. He said, you see that jobby there? And he says, hey, he said, that's my wife's. He said, oh, do you know that? He said, I've got my sandwiches tied to it. <laughs> so little ones. <laughs> deadly, deadly, deadly. Oh, Trump, Trump. I turn around. He stood? He stood like this. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> 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 no. Squirrel. <laughs> Tens of them birthday. He said, yeah, yeah. He said he'd been going there for twins, Bobby. Oh, going there for twins, Denzel. I said, Denzel, how do you tell them apart? He said, Dorian has got blonde hair <laughs> and Brian has got a cock. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. It's lovely, that is. It's lovely. Look, look, look.